Hello and welcome. Today we look at yet another multiple choice question for IB chemistry. This one says, which molecule is chiral? And you've got the four choices here. Now there are two things you need to look at to solve this question. One, of course, you need to know the meaning of the term chirality. Literally translated, chirality means handedness. Just as this hand cannot be superimposed over this hand, like this. They're mirror images of each other, but they can't be superimposed on one over the next. In organic chemistry, we have certain carbon atoms that are described as having chirality, which means they sit in the middle of a tetrahedron because a carbon could have a maximum of four single bonds. So here, I represent this chiral molecule by these four differently colored sticks that I've put into this bit of clay here to represent a carbon atom attached to four different groups. And once you have a carbon that sits in the middle of four different groups, then you have handedness or chirality, or you say you have a chiral carbon. When you have a chiral carbon, of course, it means that you can have a mirror image that's not superimposable upon that structure. And then that would lead to a pair of optical isomers, also known as enantiomers. To solve this question though, what you need to do is to take these IUPAC names and be able to translate the IUPAC name of a structure into its full structural formula. So let's take a look at each structure in turn. And here I've drawn the first structure, 2-chlorobutane, 1, 2, 3, 4, butane, 1, 2, chloro, 2-chlorobutane. Could this possibly be the answer to the question? Well, if it's going to have a chiral carbon, it's got to be this one here. This carbon attaches to a Cl here, attaches to a CH3 here, attaches to an H down here, and then over on this side, it attaches to C2H5, all of this. So what you have is a carbon that's attached to four different groups, a chiral carbon also referred to as an asymmetric carbon. And just like I've shown on this model, this carbon, if I made a full model of this, this carbon would be represented by this ball of clay. Then we would have, this could be the CH3, this could be the chlorine. All of this could be C2H5, and this could be a hydrogen. Then you actually build that and you hold it in front of its mirror image you would find that it and its mirror image would not be superimposable upon each other. You would have chirality or handedness. You would have optical isomerism and you'd have a pair of enantiomers. How do you distinguish one optical isomer from another one? Well, each isomer rotates the plane of polarized light Polarized light being light that's just vibrating in one plane, one of the isomers would rotate that plane in one direction and the other one would rotate the plane in the opposite direction. All of this, of course, is extra content that you should reflect upon as you take on one question like this. You should reflect on all of the related content in the IB Chemistry Guide. And if you follow this strategy, all it's going to take is about 100 multiple choice questions and you would find that you have mastered all of the content in the IB Chemistry Guide. And of course, if you like, you can go through and draw the structure of B, C and D and get some practice writing structural formulas. But the answer to this question is A.